Hi there. Welcome to Sterling's Global. My name is Jay, and I'm one of the specialists in Sterling's Global, a UK-based accounting firm specializing in traditional business and e-commerce. For our discussion today, we will share tax tales, real-life USA tax case studies that will blow your mind. These real-life stories serve as captivating examples of the intricacies of the tax system, the importance of compliance, and the consequences that can arise from misunderstandings or questionable practices. Let us first talk about USA Tax Case Studies of Famous Tax Evaders Walter Anderson Walter Anderson, a former telecommunications executive, orchestrated the largest tax evasion case in U.S. history. He employed a complex scheme involving aliases, offshore bank accounts, and shell companies to hide approximately $365 million worth of income. In 2006, Anderson pleaded guilty and was sentenced to nine years. Additionally, he was ordered to pay restitution of $200 million. Unfortunately, a typographical error in the federal government's judgment reduced the amount Anderson had to pay, leaving him responsible for $23 million owed to the government of the District of Columbia. Al Capone Al Capone, a notorious mobster involved in various illegal activities, including bootlegging and prostitution, was ultimately convicted of income tax evasion. Under Capone's leadership of the Chicago Outfit, the criminal organization generated massive revenues of around $100 million per year. However, due to removing the word lawful from the 16th Amendment, even income derived from illegal activities is subject to taxation. Capone faced a difficult choice between confessing his crimes by filing proper taxes or risking imprisonment for tax evasion. In the end, he was sentenced to 11 years of imprisonment and required to pay fines and outstanding tax bills. Wesley Snipes Famous actor Wesley Snipes was entangled in a tax evasion case involving offshore accounts and failure to file federal income tax returns. Snipes was accused of hiding income and was estimated to owe around $12 million in federal taxes. In 2008, Wesley Snipes was cleared of felony tax fraud and conspiracy charges but found guilty of misdemeanor charges. As a result, he received a three-year prison sentence. His accountant was sentenced to four and a half years, while a co-defendant tax protester received a 10-year sentence. These famous individuals dared to engage in tax evasion schemes, attempting to conceal their substantial incomes. But wait, there are still more fascinating individuals and daring tax evasion cases to talk about. The next one is the case of Joe Francis. The creator of Girls Gone Wild, Joe Francis faced felony tax evasion charges for filing false corporate tax returns. He allegedly claimed over $20 million in false business expenses to evade taxes. Although he escaped the felony charge through a guilty plea, Francis faced tax troubles. In 2009, the IRS filed a tax lien against him, demanding a staggering $33.8 million in unpaid taxes. Leona Helmsley Dubbed the Queen of Mean, Leona Helmsley, a hotel operator, and her husband were known for their vast real estate holdings. Despite their immense wealth, they resorted to charging millions of dollars in personal expenses to their business as a tactic to evade taxes. In 1989, Helmsley was found guilty of three counts of tax evasion and served an 18-month sentence in federal prison. It is worth noting that she was ordered to report to jail on that year's income tax deadline, adding an ironic twist to her case. These tax evasion cases are truly eye-opening, aren't they? They shed light on the serious consequences individuals face when attempting to evade taxes. This just reminds us that we should never try tax evasion ourselves. Other USA Tax Case Studies The IRS Agent and the Case of the Missing Receipts An IRS revenue officer faced a predicament when accused of failing to keep records 
for over $41,000 in supplemental income earned from eBay sales in 2004 to 2005. Surprisingly, her defense was ignorance of her eBay activities, constituting a business and the obligation to maintain records. Despite working for the IRS, she should have known the importance of keeping receipts. The IRS emphasizes meticulous record keeping, including invoices, receipts, purchase orders, and supporting documents for deductions. Failure to keep proper records can result in audits and penalties. This case reminds us that everyone including IRS employees must comply with tax regulations and maintain accurate records. Ignorance of the law is not an excuse. It's quite astonishing to witness an IRS employee being accused of neglecting records. However, let us not follow in her footsteps. Regardless of the surprising nature of this case, it serves as a reminder for all of us to be diligent in our record keeping. Silent Film Stars Pushing Their Luck Ned Sparks, a 1930s silent film star, learned about the repercussions of pushing the limits of business deductions. He tried to deduct $3,000 for a pair of dentures, arguing they were crucial for his work by improving his speech. However, the IRS denied the deduction, stating that Sparks could improve the dentures were solely for business purposes. This case emphasizes the need for valid justification for deductions and seeking professional advice when uncertain. Differentiating between personal and business expenses and maintaining separate finances is essential. And before we end, let us answer some frequently asked questions about real-life USA tax case studies. Is tax evasion illegal in the US? Yes, tax evasion is illegal in the United States. Intentionally evading or underreporting income, inflating deductions, hiding assets, or engaging in other fraudulent activities to avoid paying the total amount of taxes owed is considered a crime. Those guilty of tax evasion can face legal consequences, including fines, penalties, and potential imprisonment. Is the U.S. a high-tax country? Compared to many other developed nations, the United States is not typically considered a high-tax country. While the U.S. has progressive tax rates and imposes taxes at the federal, state, and local levels, the overall tax burden is lower compared to countries with higher tax rates and more extensive social welfare systems. How much tax evasion is there in the U.S.? According to Charles Rettig, the Commissioner of the Internal Revenue Service, or IRS, the United States is estimated to lose approximately $1 trillion in unpaid taxes every year. This staggering amount highlights the significant issue of tax evasion within the country. Reddick argues that the IRS lacks the necessary resources to effectively identify and apprehend tax cheats, further exacerbating the problem. The outcomes of these USA tax case studies show that tax evasion is a serious offense that can result in significant fines, restitution payments, prison sentences, and damage to reputation. It reminds us that no one is above the law, regardless of their social standing or wealth. Check out Sterling's Global for further business and tax advice based on your specific circumstances and unique needs. And that's it for today's video. These USA tax case studies helped you understand the importance of complying with tax laws. For more professional advice on your tax accounting needs, consult us by visiting the Sterlinks Global website at sterlinksglobal.com. If you enjoy our content and want to explore more about similar topics, please like and subscribe to our channel. To stay updated, why don't you have a look at our other social media platforms? The links are in the description below. Once again, I'm Jay from Sterlinks Global, and I will see you in the next video.